This is the basic design of a control station. You'll see that outside. Now, when I said control, what I talked about a little earlier, it's everything we knew, need to do to condition that water and to prepare it for the right pressure and the right quality and the volume. Okay? And we do that by using things like a, a pressure regulator, a filter, and that's a simple system. But let's go back to the, uh, this is your, this is just like a ho hose bib or a you know, hydrant there at the house. These are all um, hose threads. You've got your, your bib and then your preventer. You, this is required by law in the city. It keeps things from being sucked back up into the municipal system. If there's a pressure leak in the neighborhood, you have a, 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 a water line break and all the water flows out of it, it's going to suck everything in your system right back into, the, into your house and right back into the neighborhood. It's required. You've got to have one of these. Pressure regulator, most, as I said, most uh, uh, municipal water is anywhere from 40 to 60, 70 pounds PSI, depending on where you are in relation to that water tower, right? You've got to have that because you'll blow, a, blow up this line. Uh, filter, even in the city, if you've got a little garden, get a filter. You know, these, these water lines break. Very important to have a filter. Adapter, and I, that's just simply to, to change uh, from, from the head to the, uh, to the supply line, or the header line, okay? Now this is a little bigger system. This is a commercial uh, type system. This would be ir for irrigating an acre or two. And we had, this is actually at the Noble Foundation when we were doing a project uh, back several years ago. This is our water source, notice a little, bib here. We want to have a source so we can water, a source of water so we can uh, clean out our filter. And then we've got a supply line here. We have a, a check valve, vacuum breaker. It's this one particularly is a check valve. And then we have a, an injector manifold right here. Now the injector, this, this particular one is a dosmatic. We'll look at some different ones a little bit later. Uh, we have a little s a system around We've, we've plumbed around it so that we can turn this off and not use it and when we're just using straight uh, irrigation water. we we'll turn this one off and route some of it through this, the injector, when we want to inject fertilizer or chemicals for some reason. Okay, and then we've got our filter. This is always downstream of the injector to take out any impurities, anything that doesn't get, go completely into solution. We've got a little uh, pressure valve there to see if our system, our, our uh, filter is plugged up because it will lower the pressure of the operating system. It's nice to have one here and actually one up here. Also notice this. We've got two or four big pipe. You can imagine what that's for. Some of us get a little carried away and we're hurry and I've done it, you know, backed into it and whoa, well you, you break the PVC, you've got to shut the, obviously, you can shut the system down and repair it. Gravel. Don't let the weeds grow up in it, and certainly don't let it dry. If you have a lot of weeds and brush, and you get a little fire, guess what? Melts the PVC and it's useless. Very, very important. Okay. Also, if you're gonna be using this stuff year round, the system, and some of you, uh, if you've got hoop houses, uh, you're growing spinach or greens uh, in, the, in the winter, protect your system. Insulate it. A lot of people put a little, just like a pump house, put an electric heater in there, keep it from freezing. We'll talk about servicing the system a little bit later on for winterization.